Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be taking a look at all of the classes that are in my cybersecurity degree. So I go to the University of Texas at San Antonio and I'm currently studying cybersecurity and information systems at my university. It was only four extra classes for me to double major and that looks real good on a resume so I went ahead and added it on because in the grand scheme of life what are four classes? Unlike other universities, UTSA groups cybersecurity under the College of Business rather than the College of Science, which is, again, different compared to other degree plans, but I do really enjoy it. The way I understand it, cybersecurity deals a little bit more with the business side of things than the technical side of things, so you have to be able to communicate your ideas to the business and just kind of explain what's happening on the IT side to the rest of the stakeholders that don't care about the IT side. Another explanation that I've received is that in order to protect something you have to understand how it works and a lot of times we will be working with uh, like accountants or finance and just all the other business classes so you should have a firm understanding of what they're even doing before you try to protect it or build a program for it or anything like that it just helps to have that background knowledge and even if i decide to never do cybersecurity again like the business classes are very beneficial and i'm definitely really glad that i had the opportunity to take them even though I know a lot of people don't see the value in it. I have my handy dandy Mac right here and I'm going to be looking at a website called DegreeWorks that UTSA uses and I'm sure that other universities use this as well. So to begin, I'm going to start by taking a look at my core curriculum requirements, which are basically all of the classes that you have to take if you are a college student in the state of Texas, so these are probably going to be the same if you are also in the process of getting a degree, but I'm still going to list them out just for some context of what I took. Um, I did take a lot of AP classes and a lot of dual credit classes, so pretty much my first semester and a half of college was all dual credit and AP credit, um, if not more, so I'm not really going to distinguish between the two, but just know that a lot of my classes I was able to get knocked out in high school. So under the core curriculum requirements, there's freshman composition one and two. Um, I had to take a college algebra class. There is exploration of the solar system and then physical geography. I took intro to world civilization uh, based on the 15th century. I took a survey of art class, which was actually pretty cool. And it was focused on the time period of 1315 to 1750. I had to take US history. Um, there's two history classes that you have to take. Again, I took a push for these classes, so I didn't have to take these in college. Um, intro to American politics, Texas politics, micro and macroeconomics. Um, AIS, which is Academic Inquiry, which is the basic class that you have to take if you are an incoming freshman to any university. It was really dumb because by the time I actually came around to taking this class, I was in the second semester of my sophomore year, and by then I had already figured out how to do college, so that was fun. And then again, a college algebra with calculus. I took two math classes, but one of them was school credit. One of them I actually took at university. Moving on to the common body of knowledge, um, I had to take accounting one, accounting two, which I hated. I had to take business and professional speech, which was very beneficial for me. I really enjoyed that class. And I had to take micro and macro economics. I took, or I will be taking, Principles of Business Finance this upcoming fall, so that's exciting. Um, social and Ethical Issues in Business, which kind of talked about Enron and Worldcom and like all the accounting scandals that went on in the early 2000s, which was, which was pretty cool just because I don't think I would have learned about it had I been anywhere else. When I was in the early 2000s, I was a child, so I obviously wasn't aware that these things were going on. Business Information Systems Fluency, which is basically a really fancy way of UTSA saying how to use Microsoft Office. It was kind of beneficial just because prior to that class, I really didn't use Excel and uh, Access as much, but the Word and PowerPoint modules were painful and so boring. Principles of information systems for management was basically a lot of vocabulary words for IT, but it was very beneficial once I started taking my uh, internship. I'm interning as a digital product manager for USAA 
and all of these vocabulary words that were really just vocabulary words, I got to see them in real world situations. So if you have the opportunity to do an internship, I definitely would recommend it. It gives a little bit more value to the things you're learning uh, when they're not just like these abstract concepts, you just see them actually being implemented. So definitely would recommend an internship. Business communication and professional development, that is the management class that I'm actually taking right now during the summer. There is management two, which is part of my information systems major. Marketing strategy, principles of marketing, um, statistics one, two, and three. I just took statistics two in the first part of the summer, and then this upcoming fall, I'm gonna be taking stats three, and then I will be done with statistics, but I'm so happy to be done with statistics. It's not bad, it's just like, definitely a lot of work. <laughs> Getting into my major classes, um, again, information systems and cybersecurity share a lot of the same classes, so it's not that hard to do both of them, but I had to take Inside Cyber, which is just an introduction to the career field, and it kind of uh, makes you research what job that you could do with your degree. Um, there's introduction to programming concepts, and then there's always a lab that goes alongside the class. So. One class is kind of where you have the lecture and you're learning and coding and the other class is where you're like have little projects that you do to prove that you're actually understanding all of the programming concepts. And at UTSA, I know they have some other classes, I'm pretty sure they have Python and things like that. I do believe that's more so associated with the computer science, so school of science side of things. But um, we are just learning Java, um, so it's pretty much like Java 1, Java 2. There's an operating systems class, introduction to telecommunications, network security, and then information assurance and security. For my information systems major, I also have to take database management for information systems, application development, systems analysis and design, and then advanced topics in information systems, which... Um, I just read the description of the class and it makes absolutely no sense, so I'm not even going to read it out now. But just know that that class exists. For the cybersecurity major support work and information systems major support work, um, you take 12 and 9 credit hours for both of those. I do believe, again, some of them will overlap. These are the classes that have a lot more to do with my actual major. So I made a cool note so I can kind of read out some of the classes that you can take as electives uh, for this degree. So there is Digital Forensics 1 and 2, there is Cryptography, there is Cyber Law, Intrusion and Detection, Network Security, Product Management, App Development, Networking Fundamentals, Networking Operations, Wide Area Networks, which the description of this class is technologies such as Frame Relay, MPLS, VPN tunneling, the common role of carriers, leased lines. Again, I haven't taken this class yet, so I just kind of wanted to get a description so you can kind of see what it's about, but I am not 100% sure on that one. There is web application security, which I'm very interested in because I definitely want to learn more about building web services. Information assurance policy, industrial control systems. You can even take an internship instead of uh, one of these classes and you can get college credit for that. And then essentials of product management. That's pretty much all of the classes that I see on my website here. Again, half of your degree is pretty much like the business side and the rest of it is going to be whatever like you chose. So for me, cybersecurity and information systems. This isn't the most traditional way to do cybersecurity, again, just because we are in the College of Business. This is very beneficial just in case I do decide to change careers. I'll have a firm like understanding of everything that goes on or like just the business foundation of things. I don't think that I want to do cybersecurity my entire life, so I'm really glad that this is a very like diverse degree that I can apply in multiple areas. Of course, you can always get certifications and I will still need certifications, but um, this is basically what my cybersecurity degree consisted of. I wanted to make this video just in case anybody is interested in what um, the cybersecurity degree has to offer and whether or not it's beneficial for them. Let me know if you have any more questions about cybersecurity, if you'd like to see more videos about what I'm doing in school regarding this degree. I'm making a lot more videos, but it's just been hard with my internship because I work full time and I'm taking summer classes, so it's been 
a little time consuming, but it's slowly coming to an end, so I have a little bit more time now. Thank you guys for watching. As usual, if you have any ideas, feel free to drop them down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!